And you're going to look at this car and say, hmm, what is this? For those who are, do not know, this is my good buddy Don Maluzio from York, Pennsylvania. This is a 1968 Vitorini GT Strata 5300. And the coach work on this car is by Carrozzeria BBM. Agenda Bizzarini was an engineer. He started life as a teacher. He joined Alfa Romeo. He later developed uh, both the Isa Revolto and the Isa Griffo. With, and later, of course, the Lamborghini V12 engine. But he wanted to do his own thing after he left ESO, and he developed this particular car. What's interesting about this car, you have this super sexy Italian car, and of course the super sexy Italian guy that's driving it. Malusia, right, yeah? Uh, and, and anyway, it has a Corvette 327, 350 cubic engine. Thank you. So he you married take it to to that's that's what I was trying to get you. Giorgio, I'll say it, try again, Giorgio Gagara and uh, built these wonderful cars. Just 149 were produced, including three Spiders, one production prototype, and two production cars. And Don also has the Viserini Spider for Matchsticks. Thanks, buddy. Good to see you. Glad to have you here. Winner of the best European boat car is Interesting. I'm trying to get it. This is the best European closed car owned by Nicola Bulgari of Allentown, Pennsylvania. This is a 1960 Armstrong Sibley Star Sapphire four door sedan. I am willing to bet most everyone here has never seen one of these cars. Uh, Armstrong Sibley was founded in the UK following World War I in 1919. Uh, the Sapphire first was built in 1950 with W.O. Bentley actually being consultant on the car. The first car was shown at the Earl's Ford Motor Show in 1952. This is the last car to come off the production line on July 5th, 1960. Uh, and the final star Sapphire limousine, uh, September 6, 1960. I think I did something wrong there. This is the last car. For some reason, I don't have my notes right here. I apologize. The restoration on Mr. Balgary's car was completed in the fall of 2014. It's a very unusual automobile. Another great car. This is uh, Ken Laird from Hummelstown, Pennsylvania, with a 1970 Maserati Ghibli Coupe. Uh, the Maserati brothers were long since gone from the company, which was founded in the 1920s. They went and found another car company called Asta. But this particular car, in my opinion, is probably the most beautiful car Maserati ever built. Once again, the styling of this car was done by Giorgio Gigaro, uh, who was then at Ghia. Uh, Giorgetto Giugiaro. Okay, I'm a German from Pennsylvania. I need a, I need a, uh, a, a an Italian from Michigan to help me. This was one of 1,274 cars built. This is the cool thing about Ken's car. The first owner was Wes Farrell, who was Frank Sinatra's son-in-law. Sinatra sold it to actor George Hamilton, who later sold it to the owner of Wendy's, Dave Thomas. This car has just 21,000 miles on it, and it is an all-original car, except for a little bit of paintwork. Ken, thank you so much. Really thrilled that you brought the car today. I've known Ken for quite some time and I learned something about him yesterday. He actually flies Japanese P Zero World War II planes. Crazy people in the car. This is the most elegant closed post war car. John and Karen Gerhard from Ambler, Pennsylvania. This is a 1966 Ferrari 275 GTB coupe with coach work by Scalietti. The 275 GTB was launched by Ferrari at the Paris Auto Show in 1964, and we can get into all kinds of arguments here how this is perhaps considered by many one of the most beautiful Ferraris of all time. Uh, most interesting is this is the this was the first Ferrari to come with independent front and rear suspension and wire wheels as standard equipment. It is powered by a 280 horsepower Palumbo 3.3 liter V12 with two uh, overhead cams. This particular car is one of 453 200, uh, 275 GTBs produced. 
So if you want to make a good investment in an automobile, right there. Winner of the Board of Directors Award is our friend from Chasing Classic Cars, Wayne Carini from Portland, Connecticut. This is the Lewis Special Roadster. It's kind of an interesting vehicle. This began life as a 1933 Ford, maintaining its frame and front axle as well as the rear deck, part of the reporters and the internal firewall. The rear axle is from a 40 Ford, the front brakes from a 41 Lincoln, power comes from a flathead Ford V8. Uh, with port, uh, heads from Port of Canada. So it's a bit of a, a mismatch of all kinds of cool things. However, Wayne likes weird cars, interesting cars. Perhaps the most interesting thing about this car is this car was raced in every race in Pebble Beach through 1956. The only car to ever do that. And Wayne, I think you featured this car in one of the episodes, didn't you, when you bought the car? By the way, if you haven't met Wayne, he's a very affable guy, so bother him. He doesn't ever talk to anybody. Thanks. Laughable. He's both laughable and affable. Thanks, Wayne. Laughable. That was